Now, this is very exciting, ladies and gentlemen. An old friend of ours uh, has dropped by tonight to uh, be on the program and perform something very special. He's going to be performing his dramatic interpretation of Elton John's classic Rocket Man. So, <laughs> please sit back, enjoy, and welcome the star of Fox's Get a Life, Chris Elliott. Chris! She packed my bags last night. Pre-flight. Zero hour. I don't know, I think it was about 9 a.m. I didn't look at my watch. And I'm gonna be high. Oh. As a kite. By then. Oh, I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife, too. It's lonely out here in outer space. Oh, it's such a timeless, timeless time. Mars ain't a place to raise a kid. Mm. Now, in fact, it's cold as hell. little boogers if you did <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a long long time till touchdown brings me around I'm yet to find I'm not the man they think I am at all no no I'm a rocket man Ooh. Ooh. rocket man burning out his fumes out here all alone I think it's going to be a long, long time. I think it's going to be a long, long time. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Chris Elliott, ladies and gentlemen. Chris. Oh, that kind of gets Hi, you Chris. going, doesn't it? Nice, nice to see you. You don't have, have to seat. say anything. I know it gets you going, too. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> I, I think you well, made us you all know, sick. Now, what exactly... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> what exactly... Can I tell you, can I say one thing? Sure. Can I interrupt you? Please can do. I just thank the world's greatest band right over here? They threw that together at the last minute. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's especially special to me because I always thought Paul hated my guts. Oh, really? So. I didn't realize that. You guys worked together for years and years and years, and you thought that he hated your guts? Well, it goes back. I don't want to really talk about it. It was a little dispute we had many years ago. I don't even know if Paul remembers it. It was something about uh, Christmas versus Hanukkah. Oh. But anyway, that was long ago. <laughs> So, what exactly was the thrust of the debate? I don't know, but voices were raised. <laughs> we were, uh... Uh, now, explain that to us, uh, Chris. You were doing your interpretation of Rocket Man. Is there a purpose yeah. to that? Is that what is... Well, uh, as you know, uh, my little show, Get a Life, is no longer on the air. That's right. I don't know if you're aware of that. That's very nice of you. Uh, <laughs> and so, in essence, what I thought I would do is kind of a little video audition, as it were, for all the uh, movie executives and all the TV executives out there in Hollywood, just to let them know that I don't just do the weird stuff. That I am I mean, sort of what I'm into now is that. And I think something like that, you know, you know, maybe it'll start some things clicking in their heads out there, and you know, because I think maybe that could be worked into a TV show. Or a, you or see a, that as a TV well, show, or maybe a movie, or 
A book? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. So it's an, it's an audition piece. It's still my little yeah. audition. It could be many things, I think. Yeah, now, now you mentioned that your show is not on the air. How long was the program on the air? And it, was it canceled? Is Get, has Get a Life been you know, canceled? No, that it was canceled. That's kind of one of those little uh, nasty rumors going around. No, I decided to leave the show on my own. <laughs> well, let me explain why. I, you know, I have been doing it for so many years. Uh -huh. And uh, I really, once you're... You know, at the top of your game, it's kind of like Johnny Carson. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to step aside while you're on top. I wanted to let the fresh blood come in uh -huh. and sort of take over. Yeah. You know what that's like. Yeah. And you wanted to spend some time shopping for hair pieces, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some of that free that was time here. Barb, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure was. <laughs> Spin Doctors will be here later. Christopher Walken, and uh, we have with us tonight uh, former uh, ring boy for the World Wrestling Federation, Chris Elliott. Chris, thank I you very you. much. I didn't think you remembered. That's lovely. Yeah, you do look much different to me than I last saw you uh, either here or I don't on your show. I know what your deal is with this. It's just I was you out in like the... You, you get, you're a little lighter. Your hair is yeah, lighter. Yeah, a little... And you got a lot more than uh, you used to have. I was out in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's this a little highlighty, I guess, yeah. but I think that's just about it. By the way, how's Minoxidil doing with you? I don't use Minoxidil. Well, I have a full head of my own hair. But now I heard that you were using it, and it gave you a rash, mm -hmm. and then you had to go to bed with a shower cap filled with medicated cream. Yeah. Is that true? I, I do that, but it has nothing to do with Minoxidil. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's a shower cap full of party dip. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to take that it's barb a, it's out. It's another barb. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this barb. Yeah. So what else is going on? What have you been doing? What's new? Can I tell you something Please else? Please do. Since I'm out here and I have the time. And the rented tuxedo. Mm. This, You're uh, a regular pin cushion tonight, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to work Ouch. up one for you. <laughs> uh, i got to tell you, your show still gets, I know there's a lot of other talk shows out there, uh, and your show still gets the best guests. Oh, sure. On, and, and I am really... I gotta tell you, my wife and I... Possible exception of this we evening, were, I suppose you're right there. That one went right over me. We were, uh, my wife and I were watching last night. How is your lovely wife? Oh, she's give her, doing fine. Please, give her my best. I actually haven't seen her in yeah. many years. And uh, we were watching, and uh, what is the deal between you and Max Headroom? You guys, you about. boogers really go at it there. I have there. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't understand what he is. Is he a puppet or is he a, a machine, a I don't know. toy? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> well, one thing... All right, I'll tell you what. Let's just wrap this up now. Well, I'll tell you right now. Before I do, let me just... Uh, I have something I'd like to give you. Uh -huh. now, uh, I know that you're not, uh, you know, the most outwardly emotional person. We all know that. Uh, <laughs> But this is something all the kids are wearing on the street. Certainly and I not thought, in your case. Maybe I'd, I'd like to give you this. This is a, a kiss hat, and I don't know exactly which <laughs> tree to put that to, because that everything is love nowadays. Uh -huh. And uh, I tried to get you the one with the hug on it, uh -huh. with the circle, but they didn't have that. Uh -huh. They just had the kisses. That's so you great. wear that. Yeah. I bought oh, it. Thank you. Store. That's very nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. The man I bought it from. Uh, well, he was rather agitated with me, and he called me a few names. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly appreciate it. Yeah, this is great. Thank you well, very there much. There you go. That's a kiss from me to you. Yeah, all right. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> certainly close enough. <laughs> oh, man, this looks like somebody's really bad dream, doesn't it? You and me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. Is that it? Or you got that's anything else me. you want to no, mention? All right, it. Chris, always a pleasure to have you. Well, have a great summer. Chris Elliott, ladies and gentlemen.